You're beginning your oceanography lesson. Answer the questions in your packet as you watch each lesson. Lesson one, the sea floor. If you were to travel through the ocean in a submarine, the first thing you would notice is all the cold black water all around you. As you are traveling through the darkness, you might find that your lights are reflecting off a large underwater mountain range. Or you might find a huge opening in the sea floor, so deep you can't even see the bottom. But that's not it. You will also find the following important features. Get ready to answer the questions that are in your packet for Lesson 1. The continental shelf is a gradually sloping end of the continent that extends under the ocean. Basically, it's the part you are walking on when you are swimming in the ocean. Make sure that you have labeled the continental shelf here and that you have written down these words under next to the continental shelf. Pause the movie and resume it when you're ready. Okay, next we have the continental slope. Label the continental slope on your diagram and write that the continental slope starts at the shell and then drops steeply to connect to the ocean floor. Write these words down next to continental slope, pause the movie, and start it again when you're ready. The abyssal plain is the flat sea floor areas, some of the deepest parts of the ocean. Write this down next to abyssal plain and label abyssal plain. Pause the movie and resume when you're finished. A seamount is an underwater inactive volcanic peak. Label and write down the definition. The mid-ocean ridge is an area in the ocean basin where new seafloor is formed. Label the mid-ocean ridge and write down these words. Pause the movie and resume when you're finished. Here is an example of new seafloor forming. You notice the plates are spreading and lava will rise up and form new sea floor. This happens at a rate of 2.5 centimeters per year. As lava pours out, it cools quickly and hardens into the sea floor. While new sea floor is constantly being formed, it is also constantly being destroyed. In some areas called subduction zones, old sea floor slides under another plate and is forced into the mantle where it will melt. Write this down under subduction zone, pause the movie, and resume when you are finished. Pause the movie and resume when you are finished. A trench forms in a subduction zone. A trench is a long, narrow, steep-sided depression where one plate sinks under another. Here is the diagram of a subduction zone. Convergent boundaries. And this one is sliding over the other, pushing this down where it's hot. The lava will rise up. There's a lot of pressure down here, and the lava pushes up. And what do you think is going to form right here? You're right, it'll be a volcano. Very good.
Okay, now turn your paper over. This is the last part of lesson one. You need to put the steps in order. Here is the order of the steps. Step one, new, flo new floor is formed when lar because large sections of Earth's crust are constantly moving. Put a one next to that. That's the first step. Second step, as they move, the ocean floor changes. Third, when ocean plates separate, magma pours out inside the Earth. And step four, this forms new sea floor, a process known as sea floor spreading. You are putting those four explanations in order of how they happen. Pause the film and start it again when you're finished. Ocean trenches are longer and deeper than any valley on Earth. A famous trench uh, any, on any continent. A famous trench includes the Mariana Trench in the Pacific. Mount Everest could easily fit in the Mariana Trench. Notice at a thousand meters, below a thousand meters, three thousand feet, it's completely dark. There is no light. That is the end of lesson one. You have finished your homework for tonight. Good job.